Pfizer has released new data showing its COVID vaccine is 90.7 percent uh, effective against symptomatic COVID in children ages 5 to 11. On Tuesday, an FDA advisory committee is scheduled to meet to discuss whether the agency should grant emergency use authorization for the shots for that age group. Children 12 and older can already get it. And for those students at one Miami private school, a strange vaccine mandate is in place. Any student who gets a shot must stay home for 30 days. The problem is it's based on bogus claims. The Florida Department of Education has sent a letter to school officials telling them they should review their policies and conform to Florida law. Our Gary Tuckman has more on the controversy. Oscar Ascanio has a son who goes to Miami Sentinel Academy. Well, you know, I think it's a family decision and we should respect, you know, like everybody's privacy. It is a family uh, decision, but it makes everyone safer because so many people have gotten the vaccinations. Tens of thousands of people are not dying. There's now. a lot of people who get the vaccine and, and it's dying right now. Nah, that's not true. So, no, it is true. No, it's not true. Fox News says the truth. Fox News says it's true, but that's definitely not that's true. true. <laughs> it's false. That's no. the problem. Fox News is the one that you can get, you know, like. Now, let me just tell you, let me just tell you, sir, the, the greatest scientists in the world know that this vaccine is saving lives. So my question for Fauci you is... is not the, the best scientist in the world. Yeah, well, That's just one opinion, you know? Yeah, you're, you're, you're hearing bad information, sir. But with all due respect, I wish you good health. Thank you so much. Same to you. Have a great day. Thank you. Alex Serrano has three children who go to the school. When you got the letter yeah. that said that children would have to stay home for 30 days if they got the vaccine, did you say to yourself, I'm glad they sent that out? Yes. And I sent an email to the owners of the school saying that I'm in complete support of the policy and thanking them for it. Parents here say the letter banning vaccinated children from returning to school for 30 days also declared that children who get the vaccine could potentially transmit COVID to other children, which is certainly not true. The school released a statement saying the policy is a prudent precautionary measure. The owners of this school are a woman named Layla Sentner and her husband David Sentner. This spring, after Layla Sentner sent out another email declaring that teachers who get vaccinated can't come near the students, she told CNN. There were all sorts of evidence and stories that came out that said potentially unvaccinated people are being impacted by being around vaccinated people. There is no such evidence. The Sentner Academy has one building for preschool students and kindergartners, a separate building for first through eighth graders. Most of the students aren't yet eligible for vaccines, but they soon will be. One child who soon will be is the daughter of this woman. You are very relieved she's not in that school anymore. Very relieved. Iris Acosta Zobel and her husband pulled their first grade daughter out of the Sentner Academy last spring without getting any of their tuition back because they got more and more scared of the increasing anti-vax and anti-mask views at the school. The school encouraged the students to take their mask off. And they told your daughter, your six-year-old daughter, take your mask off. Yep. And did your daughter tell you about that? She told me. She says, why, you know, why are you teaching me this, but the school is saying this. So... You must have been infuriated. It was, it was a very stressful time. The academy is a non-denominational school. Records from the Federal Election Commission do show that both Layla and David Sentner donated very large amounts of money to Republican candidates and organizations. For example, both of them made separate donations to the Trump Victory Committee in 2020. Their donations, a half million dollars apiece. Layla Sentner is active on social media, conspiracy theories on her Instagram account, including this strange one declaring, they told us the sun will give you skin cancer, but in reality, the sun prevents skin cancer. Of course, that's untrue. Neither Sentner would agree to talk to us this time around. But some of the parents we talked to at the school say they respect and admire her. However, many parents have pulled their children out. Their respect, if it ever existed, gone. You don't indoctrinate, you educate. And much of what's happening there is an indoctrination that follows her beliefs. And Gary joins us now. So the letter I mentioned from the Florida Department of Education that was sent to the school, what's the school's response? So the Department of Education told the school that it needed to respond, Anderson, by 5 o'clock Eastern time today, drum roll, it does not appear the school responded. I can tell you the Department of Education says its investigation will be thorough. If it shows that student rights were violated, they say the school could be punished, which could include the stripping of scholarship funding. And as of now, there's no evidence at all, no public evidence that the school is worried.